Okay, now, question. If I have one generating function, f of x is a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared plus a3x cubed, etc. And I have another function, g of x, and it's b0 plus b1x plus b2x squared plus da 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 da. What's this function look like? f of x times g of x. Tell me what to write there. How do you multiply series together? What's the constant term? A0, B0. OK, what's the coefficient of x? Not a trick question. Just a, how do you how do you how do you do this? A one zero plus Do you mind if I write it this way? A zero B one plus A one B zero. All right. What's the coefficient of x squared? a0 b2 plus a1 b1 plus a2 b0, etc., etc. So the nth coefficient in the product is the sum k equals 0 to n of a, k, b, n minus k. That's, I mean, there's no, I mean, this is not calculus, discrete math. This is high school algebra. How do you multiply two polynomials together? But are you with me on this formula? OK, now watch this. I'm going to take 1 minus 4x to the minus 1 half and multiply it by minus 1 four, minus 4x to the minus 1 half to show you how good my algebra skills are I'm going to do this twice. First way, minus 1 half, minus 1 half. This is 1 minus 4x to the minus 1. And that's the generating function. For 4 to the n. Because 1 over 1 minus 4x is 1 plus 4x plus 16x squared plus 64x cubed plus et cetera, et cetera. But 1 minus 4x to the minus 1 half is the summation k equals 0 to n of 2k choose k times x to the k. Okay. Zero to infinity. So now, let's use products like we just did. 1 minus 4x to the minus 1 half times 1 minus 4x to the minus 1 half is then the summation n equals 0 to infinity of the summation k equals 0 to n of 2k choose k 
times 2n minus 2k, choose n minus k, times x to the n. And therefore, four to the n is the coefficient, and that's the coefficient. Therefore, four to the n is equal the summation k equals zero to the n of 2k choose k times 2n minus 2k choose n minus k. That's calculus. Try to prove that without calculus. We proved it by writing the Taylor series expansion two different ways, but you know from calculus that the coefficients in the Taylor series expansion are unique. So there's an example of a formula, which is now a combinatorial formula, four to the n. You know, that's turning quaternary sequences. Quaternary sequences on the left, and what's that mess on the right? I don't know, products of binomial coefficients, and you add them up. But there is an identity proved via the magic of generating functions by interpreting generating functions as Taylor series. That's a very complicated combinatorial identity to prove any other way. And it was just a simple calculation using Taylor series. Generating functions are a subject that many combinatorial mathematicians do all their lives. Just like I focus on posets, there are people out there that do generating functions, and they just love this stuff, and they write these magic formulas, and you have no idea where they came from. Okay, that's enough for today. <laughs>